Hello, my dear friends. Happy Whack Friday to you. Patrick here with a festive holiday video and uh, Thanksgiving greeting for you. Oh, that's good. Today's video is brought to you by Jim Beam Kentucky Bourbon. Because that's what's most affordable at the 7-Eleven besides uh, rubbing alcohol. So I hope you're out there enjoying this important American holiday. Why is it important? Because everyone told you it was important. And what's most important is doing what other people say and adhering to the opinions of complete strangers if you want to get ahead in the world. So did you go out today and buy the latest electronic doohickey thing that you don't need? Comment below because I want to know. I want to hear about it. So what is the meaning of Thanksgiving? Is it, is it some tax-free uh, multi-billion dollar corporation like the NFL? holding football games for your viewing pleasure and advertising exposure, featuring a bunch of overpaid, degenerate, ungrateful children? Or is it the opportunity to see people, friends, family, other people that maybe you see once a year but they really matter to you, and they're important. Or is it the day after Thanksgiving, where as if sitting around a table of relatively complete strangers, aside from the fact that you might share a few strands of DNA, and uh, either keeping political discussions to a minimum, or trying not to say the wrong thing, When the, uh, when the concert of Orange Man Bad breaks out, <laughs> you know, when you're, when you're out there on Whack Friday, traversing a sea of humanity, trudging through the, the other poor schmoes just trying to save $30 on a TV, is that what Thanksgiving's all about? I like to think it is. And so I tip my cup to you this Whack Friday. Oh yeah, that's good. That is good. So I just want to make a few predictions for 2019 since um, my predictions last year were completely wrong. <laughs> for instance, last year I said crypto was the way of the future and... Um, well, the price of Bitcoin is proving that I was wrong, and I am man enough to admit when I'm wrong. So I was wrong about crypto. But not wrong about the fundamental underlying conditions of the U.S. and world economy. So that leads me to my 2019 predictions, which are the stock market is probably going to collapse. It's already gone down something like 800 to 1,000 points in a week. And uh, it did that about three weeks ago, too. And um, I think the party's over. Even, uh, even China's economy is suffering. Their tourism is dropping in foreign nations and uh, you know orange man is uh, dropping some tariffs on those ching chongs and um, hey I think it's about time to be honest and all the d-bags and the mainstream media and all those greedy mofos they just can't complain enough 
Because orange man bad. Orange man want fair trade. Orange man bad. And um, even though China has been ripping off all other countries for the last 30 or 40 years, and even though China doesn't even have toilets, they have holes in the ground where people squat and poop. <laughs> you know, like civilized primates. Um, hey, you know, I think we should all... Uh, we should all just, you know, so I also want to wish, wish you a happy Xmas because there is no Christ in Christmas. That would be offensive. That would be offensive. We can't offend the followers of the prophet. We can't offend the uh, the non-binary um, gender religion, but who we can offend are people with white skin uh, who do believe in Jesus and um, also think that there's a thing called boys and girls and uh, that you should save money and leave people alone to mind their own business and not try to rule over people uh, through subterfuge or over douchebaggery. So to all you guys out there trying to make the world a better place, that's what I got to say to that. So guys, 2019, stock market's going to collapse. That's my prediction. All right? And if I'm still alive a year from now, I'll come back and say if I was right or wrong, like I was wrong about crypto. But, um, you know, I honestly thought Bitcoin was going to do a little bit better than what it did. And who knows, it might still go up, but... The world's just not ready for Bitcoin. <laughs> but honestly, I'm kind of glad Bitcoin failed because there were so many retards out there who... They had like a... It's not even new money. They had like fake... Uh, undeserved artificial illusionary wealth. And some of them would even come on my channel and and try to act like they were cooler than me somehow because they had some bitcoin and it just goes to show you that you know I believe in bitcoin or I believed in bitcoin because it's an alternative to the scam which we all know okay there's a scam called the federal reserve and they print money and they tell you it's worth something and uh, it's only worth what people believe it's worth and as long as it circulates and for the lack of a better alternative it maintains some value and this is why they suppress the price of gold and silver as much as they can on the London gold fix look it up this is why China made Bitcoin illegal too to keep their currency strong and so even though Bitcoin is uh, kind of got screwed, the idea behind it is still uh, a reality. So we've had a lot of uh, housing market drops in the past year in the uh, developed world. I'm talking about Australia, Canada, America. And I don't think that uh, the stock market is far behind. It's indicating it's totally weak. Just go look at the chart if you don't believe me. And is there a solution? I have no idea. I have silver. <laughs> I carry it with me. <laughs> and um, that's my emergency money. But for people with a lot more money, you know, 
I have no idea why they'd be watching my channel, but you know, they could get gold, silver, an IRA, a gold IRA. Um, I don't know, or just, you know, a basket of currencies and then bury it in your backyard. That's probably, that's probably the most rational thing to do at this point. I heard the other day that 70% um, of people under the age of 30 live with their parents. <laughs> but hey, the economy has recovered since 2008, hasn't it? That deserves a Bill Clinton. <laughs> but you know, unlike the millennials, the Generation Z or whatever they're called, no matter how bad shit gets for me, I'm willing to camp it out in the woods one to six days per week. I need at least one day in a hotel, one night in a hotel, to take a shower and to pretend, to pretend I'm one of the higher mam mammals. <laughs> mm. Wow. So as you can tell, this video is just kind of um, stream of consciousness. I just wanted to um, have sort of a hangout with my peeps. You know who you are. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching my channel if you do. And um, other than that, me, I'm just I'm just kicking it. I'm just kicking. It. I don't I don't I don't normally drink. I don't normally do anything anymore. But when I do drink. It's James to the Beam bourbon. And I gotta tell you, it's a smooth taste. It's this very smooth flavor. I don't know um, how they make it, but I've heard that they have a, a mathematical formula involving parabolas. And uh, that's why the taste is so smooth. But um, that could have just been hearsay. I normally don't take what's written down on the, uh, you know, bathroom stalls written in a Sharpie marker as the word of God. But when it comes to Jim Beam, I'm willing to give it the, the B.O.D., if you know what I mean the benefit of the doubt. Oh, this goes down smooth every time. So what are your goals for 2019? Mine, my goals for 2019 are to get out of Asia, <laughs> is to get out of Asia. And I think I've just, I think of, I think I've had enough time here and, um, my next country destination is Japan and um, I have a little bit higher hopes than the previous three previous five countries in Asia okay really previous seven countries in Asia I visited which include Singapore god awfully expensive um, Malaysia meh Thailand, constitutional monarchy with a military junta and no voting rights, Cambodia, a strongman dictatorship uh, with uh, many oppressed poor people that milks the uh, generosity and altruism of the Western world to prop up its uh, illegitimate government. We're talking about a guy who's been in office for over 34 years. A presentator. A president dictator. Uh, Vietnam, officially communist. Laos, officially communist. Myanmar, won't visit. Philippines, U.S. territory, won't visit. Taiwan, China Jr. 
Um, so I'm hoping Japan, by virtue of the fact that they make most of the scooters in Asia, <laughs> is going to somehow be more civilized. Like today I saw uh, two Japanese, I'm assuming they were Japanese, uh, because they weren't staring me down, and uh, they weren't trying to get just as close to me as humanly possible, and cough or fart on me, thus ruling out the uh, possibility that they might be ethnically Chinese. Um, and the fact that when they parted ways, the one guy bowed down to the floor like he was doing sort of a reverse um, T-Pain Apple Bottom Jeans music video. But I digress. I'm hoping Jap Japan, Nippon, I'm hoping it'll be a little bit more civil, civilized. But who knows? Who knows at this point? Who cares? The goal is to make it to the true home of modern day nationalism. Countries where they have borders, aside from Asia, they have borders in Asia. They have strict immigration in Asia. It just doesn't get reported in the news because the news is run by them. Them. Put it in brackets or parentheses. When I say them, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The tribe. <laughs> so I'm hoping for the best. And um, who knows how it'll go. I'd also like to visit Russia since I uh, go through Poruski. And... Uh, I would like to go there and see how it is. You know, Americans can actually get a three-year multiple-entry visa to Russia since 2012. That's pretty amazing. I mean, you can. I think you can stay there up to six months at a time, and you got to leave and come back. But I mean, that's equal to or better than Cambodia, where things are changing now since they have uh, sold out to the Chinese officially. Um, when I left Cambodia, they had just sold Independence Beach to the Chinese, to Chinese casino constructors, construction, it's hard to call them companies because they're just probably state-owned, um, scumbag, uh, mafia-type entities, but it's, it's just... It's pathetic to see that Cambodia gained its independence from France in the 1950s, and um, then it basically sold out to the Vietnamese. And the Vietnamese, don't get me wrong, the Vietnamese was the less, less of two evils, because they invaded to stop the genocide of 1.7 million people. And But now, Cambodia sold out to the Chinese... And, uh, yeah, they just sold Independence Beach to the Chinese. <laughs> if I were a douchebag millennial, I would say, let that sink in. But I'm not, so I'm not going to say that. Yeah, and Cambodia doesn't even have a lot of coastlines, so um, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say let that sink in. I'm not going not gonna to do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Not at this juncture. Thousand points of light. Go out there and consume. America needs you to consume. Mm. Today's video is brought to you by Early Times Whiskey. I mean, Jim Beam um, Kentucky Fried Bourbon. Oh, yeah. So, um, anyways, I'm going to wrap this up. I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me for 20 minutes. Um, I know I probably didn't say anything that blew your mind. And um, look, I'm not going to sell you a golden piece of poo, okay? I'm not like these other YouTubers out here. 
who are going to make videos that say, where I'm at right now is the best place. You need to be here. Come look at this. This is awesome. I just had this food in this foreign country. Look at me. Look at this. It's amazing. I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that maybe you watch this video every once in a while when you've had a really shitty day. <laughs> and, you need, and you need to hear from someone else who has a series of shitty days to put your shitty day into perspective. And you know what? I'm that guy for you. So, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving, Happy Whack Friday, and Merry Non-Religious Winter Holiday for all of you out there. See you on the next one.